Okay, dear students, today in this class, we are going to learn about revisiting rational numbers and their decimal expansion. This is of class 10 standard on lesson real numbers, right? Okay, see, in class of 9th standard, you studied that rational numbers have either a terminating decimal expansion or non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. See, in this section, we are going to consider a rational number. We are going to consider a rational number p by q okay rational number p by q say q is not equals to 0 and explore exactly when the decimal expansion p by q is terminating and when it is non-terminating repeating or recurring so we do so by considering several examples is it see here for example for example, 0 0.375. So, 0 0.375, it can be write as, that is 375 divided by 1, 2, 3, 0. Therefore, that is divided by 1000, we will write, right? Or, you can write 375 divided by 10 to the power of 3. Because how many zeros are there? 3 zeros, right? Okay, 10 to the power of 3, we can write like this. So, one more example I will give you. That is 23 point... 23.3408 it can be write as 233408 divided by 1 2 3 4 zeros right that is 10000 right or it can be write as 233408 divided by it can be write as 10 to the power of 4 right see as one would expect they are they can all be expressed a rational numbers right can also be expressed a expressed a rational numbers and numbers whose denominators are powers right whose denominators are powers whose denominators are powers of 10 right powers of 10 see let us try and cancel the common factors between the numerator and denominator between the numerator and denominator okay and see what we get okay this one only that is what is the question 0 0.375 i will take so it can be right as already told 375 divided by 1000 and also it can be right as see 3 and 5 will be there it will go in 3 or 5 so it will be after doing lcm right 375 see here 3 1 ja 3 3 2 ja 6 3 5 ja 15 again it will go in 5 table right 5 2 ja 10 5 5 ja 25 again 5 5 ja 25 so it can be this is 5 1 ja 5 so it can be right as 3 into 5 to the power of 1 2 3 5 to the power of 3 right 5 cube divided by even here 1000 also can be right as right so if thousand okay thousand one i will do see here thousand see here okay we can take two one two five zai ten see if last number last unit digit if zero is there means it it will go in a table two or five okay see now three uh, two five zai ten double zero again two two ja four two fifty ja okay Again, 2, 1, ja, 2, 2, 2, ja, 4, 2, 5, ja. See, 25 is there. So, again, it will go in 5 table, right? 5, 5, 5, 2, ja, 10. 5, 5, ja, 25. Again, 5, 5, ja, 25. Again, 5, 1, ja, 5. So, it can be right as 2, how many are there? 1, 2, 3. 2 to the power of 3 into 5 to the power of 3. So, it is in the form, right? So, do you see any pattern? It appears that, see, we have converted a real number, converted a real number whose decimal expansion terminates into a rational number in the form of P by Q, right? Where P and Q are co-prime, right? Where Q and P are, where Q and P are co-prime co-prime right and the prime factorization of the denominator that is that is q okay as only powers of 2 or powers of 5 2 or powers of 5 right 
or both we should expect the denominator to look like this since powers of 10 right powers of 10 can only have powers of that is 2 and 5 see for example 10 will be this therefore 2 into 5 2 5 is a 10 or 5 2 is a 10 therefore even though we have worked right see we have worked only a few examples right we can see that real numbers which has a decimal expansion that terminates see if it is terminates the remainder will be zero if it is non terminating the remainder will be remained re uh, repeating or recurring is it so you can see that the real number which has a decimal expansion that terminates can express it as a rational number can express it as a rational number whose denominator is a power of 10 also the only factors of 10 are that is 2 and 5 right 2 and 5 so cancelling out the common factors between the numerator and denominator okay we can we find that this real number is a rational number is of the form that is p by q see where the prime factorization q is of the form right q is of the form it can be right as 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m right 2 to the power of n into 5 5 to the power of m see where m and n where m and n are some non negative integers some non negative non negative some non negative integers right non negative integers okay dear students now let us discuss about see let p by q be a rational number such that the prime factorization of q is not of the form there is of the form here is not of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m where m and n are non-negative integers right then p by q has a decimal expansion which is non-terminating which is non-terminating repeating or recurring okay let us see one example on this okay here we have example 1 see i have taken here 1 by 7 right see what remainders we will get in this let us see now see here 1 divides by 7 see here 1 will not go in 7 tables so what we have to take here for point take here 0 7 1 ja 7 again remainder is 3 right see we got first remainder is 3 okay First remainders, remainders, okay, three, right? Again, after of of this point, again we have to take here zero. Again, seven four ja twenty eight. Again, we will get here two, and remainder here also two we get, right? Okay, and again we have to take here zero. Again, seven two ja fourteen we will get. Again, we get remainder six, right? Okay, see again again we again you take here 0 again what we will get 7 uh, 7 8 ja right see 7 8 ja 7 8 ja 56 again we get here 4 remainder right okay again take here 0 again see here 7 5 ja 7 5 ja 35 okay 7 5 ja 35 again remainder 5 right Okay, see so again take here 0, right? Again what we will get? Uh, 7, uh, 7, 7, 7, 49. 7, 7, 49. Again remainder is 1, right? Okay, see remainder again remainder is 1. Again take here 0. Again see here 7, 1, 7. Again 7, 1, 7 we get, right? Again 7, 1, 7. Again remainder is 3. See here starting we get remainder 3. Starting we get remainder here 3. And here also remainder is 3. Right. Again remainder is 3 we get. Right. So so on and divisor is 7. Right. See notice that the denominator here that is 7 is clearly not in the form. Right. Clearly not of the form 
clearly not of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m right therefore from this we know that 1 by 7 1 by 7 is therefore 1 by 7 will not have see it is a you will not have a terminating decimal expansion right will not have a will not have a terminating terminating decimal expansion terminating decimal expansion see yes 0 will not show up the remainder see here here shown anything 0 is the remainder in this not shown right here 0 will not show up the remainder and the remainders will start repeating after a certain stage right so we have a block of digits 1 2 3 4 5 a block of a digits of 6 See, we have to block of a digits of 6. So, it can be right at 0 0.142857. Block of a digits, right? We can block digits. Namely, that is 142857. Repeating in the quotient of 1 by 7, right? Okay. Now, let us discuss support. Now, let us discuss about exercise 8.4 on real numbers. Okay, dear students, now let us discuss about exercise 8.4. Here we have first main without actually performing the long division. We should not perform any long division, right? Without actually performing the long division, state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating uh, non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Here we have questions, right? See, if... Uh, uh, it is in the form of uh, p uh, 2 to the power of uh, n into uh, 5 to the power of m means that will be terminates right if not terminating in the non terminating means not in the form of that is 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m right let us see now okay here we have we have first question 13 divided by 3 1 2 5 is equal to it can be write that right as 13 divided by see last unity digit is 5 so it will go in 5 tables so it is in the 5 it is in the form of so it can be write as 13 divided by we can take it as 5 cube so you see here the denominator is of the form 5 to the power of m the denominator the denominator is of the form 5 to the power of m hence the decimal expansion of 13 divided by 3 1 2 5 is terminating therefore or ends the decimal expansion the i have shown just lcm 3 1 2 5 3 1 2 5 others numbers right so if we divide it by 5 so we will get here 5 to the power of 3 not this is a 5 to the power of 5 it is 5 to the power of 5 Okay, 5 to the power of 5. If we done 5 to the 5 is multiples of 5, so we will get 3, 1, 2, 5, right? So it is in the form of 5 to the power of m. Hence, so the decimal expansion, hence, the decimal expansion of 13 divided by 3, 1, 2, 5 is terminating, is terminating, right? Okay, this is the first question solution. Next, second one. That is 17 by 8. See 17 by 8 is equal to it can be write as 17 divided by. See 8 is equal to 2 cube. Right? 8 is equal to 2 cube. 2 is multiples of 3. So we will get here 8. 2 to the 4. 4 to the 8. Right? So the here also the denominator is of the form. Here also the denominator is of the form 2 to the power of n right 2 to the power of n or 2 to the power of n or 2 to the power of m okay whatever we can take here 2 to the power of n right so the decimal expansion of 17 by 8 is terminating ends the decimal expansion Decimal expansion of 17 by 8 is terminating. Okay.
so which is terminating the remainder will gives zero in this right okay but it should be in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of n right okay now here we have third question here we have third question that is 64 divided by 455 right see here 455 455 it will go in 5 table 5 9 ja 45 5 1 ja 5 again 9 we got so it will go in 7 table 7 1 ja 7 7 3 ja 21 again it will go in a 13 table or 13 1 ja 13 so here uh, 64 divided by here we get 5 into 7 into 13 so it is uh, uh, it is not in the form of 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n so and it will also contains factors that is 7 and 13 right so its decimal expansion will be non terminating repeating okay that is the right answer okay see now since the since the denominators is not in the form not in the form 2 to the power of m 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m right and it also contains it also contains factors right that is 7 and 13 as its factors as its factors its decimal expansion its decimal expansion will be expansion will be non terminating will be non terminating repeating non terminating repeating okay this is the right answer okay because it is not in the form and also having as its factors right it is 7 and 13 okay but here only 5 will be 5 to the power of 1 but it should be contains 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of n okay okay now let us discuss about fourth question 15 by 1600 right here 1600 the denominator is in the form of see 1600 that is a 2 8 ja 16 Again 2, 4, ja, 8. Again 2, 2, ja, 4. Again 2, 5, ja, 10. Sorry. Uh, 2, 1, ja, 2. 200, ja. Right. Again 2, 5, ja, 10. 0. Again 2, 25, ja. Again it will go in a which table? 5 table. 5, 5, ja, 25. 5, 1, ja, 5. See here. And 15 divided by here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 to the power of 6 into 5 to the power of 2. So, the denominator is in the form of that is 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m, right? Okay, 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n or 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of n. Okay, let us see now. The denominator, therefore, the, the denominator is of the form. The denominator is of the form 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n, right? Hence, hence the decimal, hence the decimal expansion is decimal expansion of 15 by 1600 is terminating is terminating okay this is right answer okay now here we have six, uh, fifth question okay fifth question that is 29 divided by 343 so it can be write as okay 343 in which table it will go let us see now okay 343 it will go in 7 table. Let us see. 7, 5, 7, 4, 28, right? 7, 4, 28. 
is nothing but 63. Again, 7, 9, ja 63. 7, 7, ja 49. 7, 1, ja 7. So, here 29 divided by 7 to the power of 3. Since the denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of 5. Right? So, the decimal expansion of this 29 by 343 is non-terminating repeating. Okay, this is, that is the right answer. Okay, since the denominator, since the denominator is not in the form, not in the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m. Okay, so and it as, and it as a, and it as its factor okay and it as and it as a 7 as its factor okay 7 as its factor right therefore the decimal expansion the decimal expansion of 29 divided by 343 is non terminating non terminating repeating non terminating repeat this is right answer okay here we have sixth question that is 23 divided by 2 to the power of 3 into 5 to the power of 2 okay here we have question so simple here the denominator is of the form 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n hence the denominator of 23 by 2 to the power of 3 into 5 to the power of 2 is terminating okay here the denominator the is of the form the denominator is of the form 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n okay 5 to the power of n ends the decimal expansion of ends the decimal expansion of 23 divided by 2 to the power of 3 into 5 to the power of 2 is terminating is terminating okay next seventh one seventh question we have that is 129 divided by 2 to the power of 2 into 5 to the power of 7 into 7 to the power of 5. Okay. Listen here. It is not in the form of 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of m. Because for this having its 7 as its factor. So, the denominator of the decimal expansion 129 by this denominator is non-terminating repeating. Okay. We have to write the solution since the denominator is not of the form, the denominator is not of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of n and it as 7 its factor, 7 as its factors factor okay the decimal expense therefore the decimal expansion of 129 divided by 2 to the power of 2 into 5 to the power of 7 into 7 to the power of 5 is non terminating non terminating Repeating. This is the right answer. Okay. See here. Now let us discuss about the question. 6 by 15 they have given. See. In other cases it won't be 129. Right? Like this. So here you see. 15 is equal to it can be write as 5 3 jar 15. And 6 also can be write as 2 3 jar 6. Right? So it can be write as 2 3 jar 6. And it can be write as 3 5 jar 15. 3 3 will get cancelled. 
and also 2 to the power of 2 divided by 5 to the power of 1. So, the decimal, the denominator of the decimal expansion is of the form that is 5 to the power of n. So, the decimal expansion of this 6 by 15 is terminating. That is the right answer. Okay, the denominator is of the form the denominator is of the form phi to the power of n or phi to the power of m okay phi to the power of n and the decimal expansion and the decimal expansion of 6 by 15 is terminating is terminating okay this is right answer okay here we have ninth question see 35 given and also 50 given okay see 35 also can be right as 7 5 is 35 and 50 also can be right as here uh, um, 50 50 also can be right as 225 is 50 225 is 50, 5 5 is 25, 5 1 is 5. So it can be right as 2 into 5 to the power of 2. Right? So see here, if you cancel here 5 1 is 5 and here also 1 cancels, so we will get here 7 divided by 2 to the power of 1 into 5 to the power of 1. Right? Since the denominator is not of, sorry. It is the ninth equation. The denominator is of the form that is 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n. Okay. So, the decimal expansion is terminating. Okay. The denominator is of the form. The denominator is of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m. Okay. And so, the decimal expansion ends the ends the decimal expansion of 35 divided by 50 is terminating is terminating okay now last question on this uh, uh, first minute okay and 10th one that is 77 divided by 210 so it can be right as 77 how will you write this one 11 7 ja 77 and also the 210 can be right as 30 into 7 right okay 30 into 7 again 30 is equal to how it can be right here 11 is 7 7 will get cancel again 11 divided by 5 6 ja 30 is nothing but that is 2 2 ja 4 2 5 ja 10 sorry 2 1 ja 2 2 5 ja 10 so again 3 5 ja 15 5 1 ja 5 see here we get 2 into 3 into 5 right so, since the denominator is not in the form of 2 into 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m because uh, it has 3 as its factors, right? So, the decimal expansion of 77 by 210 is non-terminating repeating, right? Okay, since the denominator, since the denominators since the denominator is not of the form is not of the form 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n okay so and it also as and it also as 3 as its factors, 3 as its factor and the decimal expansion, expansion of 77 divided by 210 is non-terminating repeating, 
non terminating repeating okay this is the right answer okay now let us discuss about the second main write down the decimal expansions of write down the decimal expansions of those rational numbers in question 1 okay about which have terminating decimal expansions which have terminating decimal expansions okay okay above on the second main write down the decimal expansion of those rational numbers in question 1 okay question 1 what will be there let us see now see in a, in question main 1 so here we have see which have terminating only for that we have which have terminating decimal expansion only for that we have to solve that that's it okay see first one is terminating second one is terminating fourth one and sixth eighth and ninth okay those are we have to do now long division right okay according to second main question okay here we have second main first question 13 divided by 3125 okay now let us discuss about this 13 divided by 3125 see a uh, 3125 into 0 0 we get again 13 only again for point take here one zero right Point take one zero year, okay year only I will year also I will take okay zero. Again it is not satisfied okay and again three one two five into zero again we have to do year uh, zero only okay and remaining is one three zero zero again for point take year for point for zero take year zero. Okay, again thirteen hundred we get again three one two five three one two five is greater than thirteen hundred so three one two five three one two five zero ja three one two zero only therefore this is also we we have to write here thirteen one three double zero again take here one zero okay. Into zero ja zero again now see thirteen thousand is greater than three one two five now we have to do okay let us see now thirteen thousand we got so three one two five four ja okay we get here one two five double zero so one thirty minus one twenty five that is which is equal to five. Okay, which is equal to five. We get therefore again after that uh, we have to after the decimal point take we are zero again. We will get here five thousand again three one two again three one two five one ja. Okay, three one two five right. After subtracting we get one eight one eight seven five. Okay, there again five zero. See again three one two five. What must be multiply here six ja six five ja thirty. We get yes exact one eight seven five zero. So what will be the remainder? Remainder is zero. Okay. Remainder is zero. Therefore, this first one solution is zero point zero zero four one six. Okay, and seventeen by eight, right? Okay, eight, seventeen divided by eight. Okay, this one, eight two ja sixteen. Remainder is one. Okay, again for point take here zero. Again eight one ja eight. Remainder is two. Okay, again for point take here zero. Eight two ja sixteen. Eight two ja sixteen. Again, remainder is four. Therefore, eight five ja forty. You take a zero and eight five ja forty. So remainder is zero. Second question it is. Therefore, answer two point two point one two five is right answer. Okay. Here we have fourth question. Fifteen divided by sixteen hundred. Okay. See here. Fifteen divided by sixteen hundred. Okay, sixteen hundred into zero. See, uh, it's not enough. So after the decimal point, after decimal point again, it's not enough. Sixteen hundred. So again, we have to take sixteen hundred. 
for take zero again 1600 for decimal point uh, one more zero you take here okay and also be it's not satisfied right so 1600 into zero is zero the remainder is again 150 again four point take here zero again 16 uh, 1600 into because 1600 is greater than 1500 so 1600 into zero that is zero only here also one five double zero four point take on a one more zero now fifteen thousand is greater than sixteen hundred so we can do now right so sixteen hundred is multiplied by nine okay because sixteen nine ja how much here uh, one hundred and uh, forty four right so here one hundred and forty four and also take here double zero right after subtracting we get see 150 minus 144 that is 6 therefore we get here 600 again 4 point take here 0 because 600 is less than 1600 so so we take here 0 and uh, 6000 is greater than 1600 now uh, again we have to divide it by 1600 1600 what must be multiplied 1600 3 ja okay because 16 3 ja 48 okay uh, if you take on 16 4 ja 64 that is a 60 is greater 60 is less than 64 so you have to take here 40 8 16 3 ja 48 100 so here also 60 minus 48 uh, we will get that is 12 okay again 1200 is less than 1600 will not go so take for decimal point uh, for one more zero here again we will get here 12000 again what must be multiply here 16 7 ja right 16 7 ja 112 okay 102 112 112 okay again 120 minus 112 so which is equal to 8 we get here again 800 is less than 1600 so take here one more zero for decimal point okay again uh, 16 5 ja 16 5 ja 80 right therefore remainder is zero and this is right answer got it therefore 0 0.009375 is right answer and this is question okay listen here we have sixth question 23 23 divided by 2 to the power of 3 means that is 8 5 square is that is 25 okay 23 divided by 25 age yeah, how much we get here uh, 25 8 ja 200 we get 8 5 ja 40 8 2 ja 16 plus 4 20 that is 200 now 23 is divided by 200 okay see for decimal point uh, for point take here 0 so 200 1 ja 200 1 ja 200 we get here 30 okay again for point take one zero 200 two ja it will not come so one ja only one ja again we get here remainder 100 again it's not satisfied take one more zero for decimal point okay again 200 five ja okay thousand so remainder so remainder is zero okay therefore for this answer is 0 0.115 Okay, one one five ninth hundred. Just need one thing. Six thousand million eight twenty. Zero point four eight thousand million. Okay, now eighth question we have six divided by fifteen is equal to okay six divided by fifteen okay for decimal point take here zero again fifteen four ja sixty the remainder is zero okay therefore six by fifteen which is equal to zero point four is right answer next uh, last question that is the ninth one okay ninth question that is 35 divided by 50 okay 35 divided by 50 okay for decimal point take here 0 and uh, 57 ja right 57 ja 
350 okay therefore remainder is 0 answer is 0 0.7 this is right answer okay dear students now let us discuss about the third main that is the following real numbers have decimal expansions as given below in each case decide whether they are rational or not if they are rational and of the form p by q what can you say about the prime factors of q okay let us see now if 4 3 43 point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 continuously it's going right okay let us discuss now see in first question 43 point 1 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 but it stops right so maybe the decimal expansion of this rational number of this number is okay uh, terminating see here repeated 1 2 0 1 2 double 0 1 2 3 by 0 1 2 4 by 0 therefore for this see uh, this one it can be say the decimal expansion is neither terminating nor recurring therefore the given number is irrational number for this given number is rational is first one okay second one is irrational number and third one you see since the decimal expansion is non terminating recurring the given number is a rational number is of the form p by q okay and q is a rational number is of the form p by q okay and q is not of the form 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n that is the prime factors of q will also have factors other than 2 or 5 let us see now okay here we have third mean first question okay 43.1234567891 solution since the number since the number as since the number as terminating since the num number as terminating decimal expansion decimal expansion okay it is a rational number of the form it is a rational number of the form 2 to the power of, sorry that is p by q and q is of the form q is of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m okay and also the prime factors of q will be either 2 or 5 okay and also that is the prime factors the prime factors of q will be q will be either 2 or 5 or both okay and this is the right answer simple if the this number is a stop here therefore the remainder will be zero we can consider it as terminating okay hence it is a rational number is of the form p by q okay Okay, simple here. here. They have given second question 0 0.120, 1200, 12,000, and 120,000, and so on. Is it right? Simple, you can understand it is an irrational number, right? The decimal expansion, the decimal, the decimal expansion or is neither terminating neither terminating nor recurring nor recurring therefore the given therefore the given number is an is an irrational number okay simple it is rational number given number is irrational number okay simply so on is a right is nothing but a neither recurring nor terminating okay no, neither terminating or nor near recurring the given number is an irrational number now third question we have that is 43 point 1 2 3 4 5 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, this bar indicates repeating or recurring. Okay, just remember this bar repeat. This bar indicates a repeat or recurring decimal. Solution. Since the decimal expansion is, since the since the decimal expansion is non terminating non terminating okay because i told you this bar indicates repeating or recurring okay that is it is nothing but a non terminating okay non terminating non terminating recurring non terminating recurring the given number is a rational number the given number is a lot of the okay the given number is i will write uh, the given number is a rational number of the form what is that p by q but here q is and q is not of the form q is not of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of n okay that is the prime factors of a the prime factors of q will be q will also have a factor have a factor other than other than 2 or 5 okay other than 2 or 5 this is the answer